hello welcome to my channel my name is Lizzie and if you are newer subscriber to the channel this video might be throwing you off a little bit but if you have been here for a while you will not be that surprised that I am talking about this film I'm gonna be talking about Spider-Man No Way Home for those of you who are new uh, aside from my love for horror I am also a huge fan of Marvel and very specifically Spider-Man that's kind of my main man, I always say. I mean, I have literally him tattooed on me. So I have talked about these films and other Marvel films in the past and have done reviews and trailer reactions. So feel free to check all of those out if you have missed any of that and you would like to know my opinions on all of that. So generally when I do these films, if you've seen me do these kind of reviews before, it's a lot of, I ramble, I'm gonna be forewarning. I ramble quite a bit with these because they're just as soon as I got done watching the film so I tend to be a little bit more all over the place um, and just kind of going off my thoughts uh, and I do generally try to keep these videos spoiler free but for this one I feel like it's going to be really hard to talk about this with not getting into spoilers and there's so much that I'm so excited about and that I want to talk about. So, I'll forewarn before I really get into spoilers. Now, if you don't want anything about this film room for you, if you want to go in completely blank, if you have not watched the trailers or anything, I would stop now. Um, I'll just say this. I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was great. So, there you go. Uh, but, let's get into talking about this film. So, if you have seen the trailer, you know that we are following... Peter after his identity is revealed from the previous film um, and he is dealing with that. Uh, I liked the fact that they didn't harp on that for too long. I kind of expected his legal battles and dealing with his identity being brought forth to play, pay a larger part and obviously like they deal with it but it's not harped on for too long and I actually was pretty happy about that. Um, I liked the fact that the majority of this film obviously focuses on the multiverse that he creates. Which is not a spoiler, it's something I already know from the trailers. We have multiple of villains that come through. We obviously have the kind of main three big villains, three of the main big villains from the original series. Uh, Tobey Maguire's, which I'm also going to be referring to them as such, like Tobey Maguire's Andrew Garfield, who plays the Amazing Spider-Man, um, and then, of course, Tom Holland, who is our most recent Peter Parker slash Spider-Man. So, that's how I will be referring to them as well. But, we have, like, Sandman, we have, we obviously have Dr. Octavius, Green Goblin, Sandman, all, uh, from the... Tobey Maguire films, they come through, he has to kind of fight them, uh, and then we have Andrew Garfield, we have Max aka Electro, and then we have Dr. Curtis Connors. Now I'm going to start getting a little bit more into spoilers at this point, so again, forewarning. I like the fact that this is really Peter trying to rescue these people. I loved the fact that Dr. Octavius got to be really a good guy throughout this film. He is the first person that Peter is really able to help um, and just the fact that he got to be because and Matt even pointed out like all these people start out really as good people just they make bad decisions and for some of them something goes wrong uh, that caused them to become these villains and you know Dr. Octavius for him is just the fact that he put on this machine put on these arms and they instead of him being able to control them they were really controlling him which they talk about in the film um, and so I love the fact that they're able to fix that and he really gets to be a helpful good guy throughout this that warmed my heart this film is definitely heartwarming throughout and of course hilarious and funny throughout it was just so good. I definitely cried several, several times throughout this. 
uh, both happy and sad tears, of course. Now, really, really spoilers here from on out. And then, of course, one thing that I was hoping for but wasn't sure if this was going to happen. I know some people were talking about this on TikTok, whether or not Matt Murdock would show up, whether or not he would be Peter's lawyer, and he is, uh, which I was just so excited in the fact that they have the actor that plays him in the Daredevil TV show as him in this. He's in it briefly, but it was still really cool, um, and they even kind of, he kind of reveals himself a little bit to Peter, um, not too much, but I definitely thought that that was really cool. Now, I don't know if there was more than one post credit scene. I just saw the Venom one, I just saw the one, and I thought and that was definitely really exciting and really cool as well. But to talk about the, of course, big, big thing, which everybody was speculating on whether or not this was going to happen, I was still, like, holding out. I was like, I'm not completely... I was not completely convinced going into this that we were going to get the other Spider-Mans. I know that obviously it makes sense and it wouldn't make sense for them to leave them out with their villains coming in, but I was still just real hesitant. I didn't want to get my hopes up too high, but they were there and it was amazing and just the way they revealed it I thought was perfect. It didn't take away too much from Tom Holland's Peter, which I know some people were definitely concerned about. There is one person that I follow on TikTok that makes Marvel related content, and she was saying that she was just worried that it would affect that this that this would just be another case of Tom Holland's Peter uh, slash Spider Man not really getting to be the center of the film, which I think that he definitely was for this um and i don't think them showing up took away too much that's just my opinion i like the fact that it was kind of held out they didn't show up too early and just the way that they did it with uh him come with andrews uh peter coming through first and just the fact that like when he starts coming through that alleyway into the portal it's just see him and you're like oh there's something different, like Sisu, and I just, I knew it was him, and I got so excited. I loved Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. I think the first The Amazing Spider-Man film was really good. The second one was not. It was definitely a flop, which is why I don't think that we got any more after him. Uh, but I, I mean, Andrew Garfield's a fantastic actor. I loved him even before he was in The Amazing Spider-Man films, and I just loved this kind of older him. He still had that very, like, goofy sarcasticness, but he also had a bit more sadness to him. I feel like we definitely saw different, which is understandable, obviously, given everything with Ben Stacy. Um, and we definitely saw different stages of Peter throughout the film, which I think is really cool as well. Uh, our current Peter just dealing with all of his stuff, being young, being in high school, then we have this kind of you know, sad, like I said, sad version of him with Andrew Garfield, who's dealing with all of his shit. He even, you know, says that what he went through kind of made him a bitter, angry person. Um, and then we have this kind of more mature version of him with Tobey Maguire's Peter, who, of course, went through the same things, went through tragedy, went through being angry and bitter, but has now from what we gathered, from what little bit of information we did get about his life back home, you know, he kind of has his life together and him and his MJ have managed to make it work, which I think is great. Um, also just have to talk about the scene when Andrew's version saves MJ, uh, same, saves Tom's MJ. I was definitely expecting that from the trailer because the first trailer we get we see her fall and we see a spider man reached out and i was like that is definitely gonna be andrews like that there's no way that they can do that scene of her following in basically Gwen stacy's death style and not give him that kind of moment of redemption 
Uh, and they did, and it was just another moment where I cried, and I was just so happy, and just the look of his face of, like, happiness that he was able to, like, save her when he couldn't do it for, you know, Gwen Stacy. I just, oh, there were so many emotions, and it was so good, um, and just everything about this film, it was definitely the best out of all three. Uh, Matt agreed with me, like, the second we got out of the theater, he was like, that's the best out of all of them, and I was like, yeah, I definitely agree. It was just, it was so good. I loved it. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I missed or wanted to talk about. Um, I did actually, I was very happy with the way this film ended. Matt was just kind of like, okay, so are they going to make another one? Who knows? Who knows what will happen? Um... Who knows if they'll just decide to leave there, or if we'll get another one. I would kind of be okay either way. I think it'd be interesting if they just let it be and let it be there. But I would be okay if they made another one, even though this one was so epically good. But a lot of people, myself included, were a little bit worried or concerned that this would be the end of... Tom Holland's Peter that I saw theories that, you know, he would get sucked into another universe because it's called No Way Home um, and be stuck there, but not exactly how it happened. So I don't know. I think it'll be cool. It was really cool that his, the apartment that he gets into, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like Toby Maguire's basically his apartment from his like college years. Uh, a little bit of a nod to that. Because it definitely looked the same, or at least very similar. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. I thought it was really good. I'm so happy. Like, I just, I wanted to go back in and see it again. Oh, so many emotions. So many times I was holding my breath. Um, and also just, I loved seeing it in the theater. I was telling them on the way home, I love the atmosphere of seeing these movies in the theater because... You're surrounded by fellow fans and people are gasping and cheering and clapping and all these lovely moments and the fun references that, you know, fans get from other stuff and it, mm, I just love seeing these and it was so fun and I'm really happy with it. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this one in the comments below. Were you as happy with it as I was? If there's things that you weren't happy with or you didn't enjoy, definitely feel free to leave those in the comments below. And I will definitely respond to them, uh, because obviously I just got out of the film, so I'm on that, like, happy high right now. Um, but, yeah, let's discuss. I want to talk about this. So, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please do give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys again later with another video. Bye!